Right, it's now time to head off. Lizzie's finished putting the anchor up. You've got to lift the... Um, I accidentally cut a crab in half. A crab? Yeah, it's a little crab. Oh no, sorry mate. Oh! Yeah, that's Just not dead. much of a crab left. I should probably start my oh. engine now. Right, first sail on the new boat. Let's uh, get the outboard set up. This is uh, quite a nifty system. All I've got to do is stick the key in. Lower it down a bit. And then, nifty thing, electric tilt. Big end towards me. And it kind of goes in the... Let's see if we can get going. Up. There we go. See how it almost stalled there? Yeah. There goes the thingy. <laughs> Mingo. Right. First sail by myself with the crew and not the other owner so uh, yeah still got the fenders but well it's going to be a mountain where you're going to put them ready outboard dripping i've taken the pin out because you've got a pin so you can actually steer it without turning the outboard and uh we've got ipad for the charts we've got phone for charts we've got a little gps thing in there should be good so a little trip round to guernsey check in there should be smooth sail there's meant to be wind coming out so we should have a Beam reach, maybe a bit more upwind, and yeah, should be nice. Right, we've got the uh, outboard ripping. We're doing five and a half knots over ground, and we're not even like full throttle or anything. And I think it's slack tide at the minute exactly, so not bad. That's like our average, or a little bit, a half knot, not more than our average boat speed on Merakai. So this is rapid. Wouldn't even dream of going this fast, you know. And uh, we got the tiller out, nice and easy locked off uh pull the fenders in we're just going to leave them on because we're going to go straight into marina on the other end so quite nice we can leave them there don't have to tuck them away into the little armors the chart running on my phone over here which is nice and then we're going to round that lighthouse over there and um, we've also got the ipad but once you round the corner we should have some decent wind because at the minute we've got five knots yeah five knots coming from over there so the wind's actually meant to be coming over here so it's just looping around the island a bit funny should be a nice sail Nice sun for it. One grey cloud over here, but the rest of it's blue skies and dead flat. So we'll see what kind of speeds we can get while sailing across and uh, see if we can get the sails up nice and easily. This one's the main halyard. We'll uh, take this off of here. For now. I'm gonna go unzip.
If I leave that in there, then you might need it. Uh, what I'll do is... Are you heading the right direction still? Kind of. This line is further. So if you pull that out... Yeah, keep on going. Pull it. Keep on pulling. Just pull it all the way out. It should be... There you go, oh, the pole's about to make an exit. Alright, now pull it in tight. Now you lock it off. Yeah, put one more turn on it and then lock it off. Yeah, like that, yeah. And then which channel? Just try it and see. That's slow. We are sailing. See what we're doing six and a half knots. Pointing as high as you'd like though. Right, we're sailing along and we're getting a lot of wind shifts. One, at one point we're pointing at the bottom of the island, next point we're pointing at the top of it. And uh, yeah, quite short, the, um, the tide's gonna start blasting through this way. So ideally, we would have gone straight up, but the wind was a different direction from predictive and a lot more shifty. Good wind speed though, we've I think we maxed out about seven knots today in about 10 knots of wind, which was quite nice. Um, and as with no sense board, we were doing about 40 degrees to the wind, which is pretty cool. Uh, do have to tighten up the rigging. Uh, I need to pull up, tighten up the halyard for the Genoa. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do a bowl check on the boat and should be good, right? And then, uh, yeah, I think in about, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, we might pull in the sails and motor the rest of the way because it's a bit more direct and the wind is shifting quite a bit, so yeah, lovely. Right, all the sails are down. You can see we've got sun coming down over there. The outboard's on and ripping. Did about five, 5.2 over ground. And you can see the harbour just ahead of us where those cranes are, you can kind of see. Um, there's Herm and Sark. We'll pick which one to go to tomorrow, um, but either will be nice. So yeah, and then on to Alderney. This is lovely. Should be about 20 minutes now, I reckon, or less. They've got visitor pontoons that we might go on. And uh, then we've got to do the uh, like immigration, like check-in, which is just filling out a form and giving it back to them. Nice and simple, because it's a uh, crown dependency, so basically UK. Uh, and then that covers Alderney as well, so you don't have to do the same thing there. And then it's on to the UK, but yeah, I think we're going to go to a pub today and uh, get some good food. We would have done, by the time we get to the harbour, about 28 nautical miles? 26? Something like that. And uh, sailing, while we were sailing, we were doing about 6 knots average, I would have said, in about 10 knots of wind. Um, but the wind angle wasn't great and we haven't got a centreboard, so we couldn't really point very well and we are probably sliding and drifting, which wasn't helping the cause. All in all, pretty good. The outboard's doing its job, zipping along. Right, 
we're just waiting outside of the uh, the harbour because you can see the ferries coming out. There's red lights on the harbour wall, so we couldn't really go in just yet. But it slowed up a little bit, and then once he's out and uh, got the all clear, we'll uh, swing in. Are you warm yet, Lizzie? No. Cold. <laughs> I think she's cold blooded or something. <laughs> right, we're on board. We are all moored up, you can see. We're on the dock. Relatively smooth docking. Nicely blown on. Just filled out the uh, well, customer's form, blah, blah, blah. Very easy passport details, boat stuff. And you just got given it when we came in. Harbour man met us and said, here, have this spot. And then uh, we just got to post the uh, white slip into the post box at the top of the top of the slip and then uh, yeah we're gonna go to the pub so let's get wriggle on there we are all moored up right just got out of the pub and you saw that food I'm absolutely stuffed let's see we're in the arena that's quite nice with all the lights on they all mingle somewhere out there, milling around. Tomorrow I'm doing a lot of boat projects, so I've got that to come because I need to get things working for the sail back and some things I want to adjust and sort out on the boat. Let me know what you think of the new boat, uh, how it did in today's weather. Um, 10 knots of wind, we are doing max 7. Um, got no centre board, so it didn't help us with our pointing, maxing out about 40 degrees to the wind. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, in the next episode you'll see me do some boat work obviously and sailing from here over to Herm which is one of the islands out there that we passed today and I think we're going to anchor off Herm and then the day after that we'll be on to Alderney and then back home so keep your eye out for the following episodes because it uh, should be quite exciting with this new boat and uh, something very different from what I had before on Merakai. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.